Well, a service dog has many jobs. They're a protector, a helper, and a best friend. One five-year-old boy is hoping that the community will help come together to help make his future a little brighter by donating towards his own very special service dog. Logan Gay has the story. Looking at Joshua Pence, you can easily see that he is a fun-loving, adventurous, and happy child. However, life has not always been so easy for him. Joshua has been diagnosed with many disorders that make day-to-day -day living a constant challenge. Hey, come on when we adopted him, we knew that he had some uh, potential development issues, with the key being fetal alcohol uh, spectrum disorder, a sensory processing disorder. He has verbal apraxia, which means he, has, like, he can't talk well. And then he also has um, an issue with uh, behavioral disorder. So there's a lot of moving parts for Josh that he gets to deal with. As Joshua grows older and the world gets increasingly faster, it becomes harder for him to transition and express himself. However, one thing he can express is his love for dogs. Having a dog around will help make that transition from different activities a lot easier for him. And that's, that's one of the real keys to having this dog around. And he just loves animals. And, uh, and so he gets really excited because he, when he gets up in the morning, he keeps asking us, two dogs? He's asking if he's got his dog yet. His parents have found an organization called Four Paws for Ability that gives trained service dogs to children like Joshua. A service dog would change Joshua's life for the better. It would protect him, be there for him, and give him independence. Four Paws is an organization out of Ohio, and what they do is they provide service dogs to kids. But they have a program where they have it set up so that uh, kids like Joshua can have a service dog. And, and one of the reasons that we're really excited about this organization is that they actually train the dogs specifically for kids that have fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. Um, when we're out in public, he tends to think it's funny to run away and hide. And with his limited ver um, verbal skills, he has very few words. And so if he gets lost, um, that could be very dangerous for him. And so he um, can be tethered to the dog at all times and the dog can help keep him safe. The total amount of a service dog is over $22,000, but the impact that it will have on Joshua's life is priceless. In order for Joshua to qualify for a free service dog, the Pence family must first raise $15,000 in support of the Four Paws mission. We're not buying a dog. We're raising funds for Four Paws, and they have already done fundraising for his dog. And so what we're doing now, we're really doing fundraising for the next child's dog. So it's, it's kind of a perpetual pay it forward type of uh, fundraising. So that's what's exciting about it for us. So far, the family has raised $750. The Pence family is hopeful that once the community hears Joshua's story, the process will go faster. Until then, Joshua is patiently waiting to meet his lifelong best friend. In Brainerd, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. And if you're interested in learning more about Joshua or would like to donate, you can visit the link on the screen you see right there. Or give us an email and we can get that to you as well. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.